hey guys welcome back to new video in this video we are going to learn about jetpack compose navigation so we are going to build this application simple application in which we have a text field and a button and if when you write something in, in the text field and press on this button it this information is going to be passed from that first screen to second screen so we are going to build this simple application so the first thing go to your build dot gradle module app level file add this dependency then sync your project and then after i am going to create a file and i am calling this main file and within this file i am going to create a composable naming navigation and within this navigation we are going to create a nav controller which is initialized by our remember nav controller block and after that we require nav host in order to host our screen so it will require nav controller and i am going to pass a star destination and star destination will accept a route so for that i am going to create a simple shield class and i am calling this navigation item and our navigation item will have route variable and within this i am going to create few objects the first is for our home screen and it will a navigation item which has a route name would be home now the second one is our detail so details and it will have a navigation item which has a route naming details slash and here you can pass the argument name so in my case it is name and i think i make a mistake in order to write my spelling details so d e t a i l s all right now it is fine jump into your main file and here we want to start from our home so pass home route and now corresponding to that route we are using composable and we need to pass our navigation item the first is our home route and if our route is equal to the navigation home route then on that occasion it will trigger our home screen composable to run so for that we are going to create a home screen which will accept a nav controller because by using nav controller we are going to navigate from home screen to detail screen now i'm going to create this composable and this home screen composable will simply have a box which have a modifier fill max size and within our box scope we have something which is called column and by using column we pass a modifier to our column which has fill max width and the second parameter would be horizontal alignment which is center all right now within this column i am going to create one text field and a button so text field and it require value so for that i am going to create a mutable state of string so i am calling this dummy value and within a remember block we are going to use mutable state state of string import this remember now within value pass dummy value dot value and on value change use a pair of parentheses and i am going to update my dummy value with the updated text field value and then after i am going to create a button having on click and it is having a simple text which is click me import this text and within our on click we are going to use our nav controller dot navigate in order to navigate from this home screen to our detail screen and we need to pass our route name so now jump into your navigation item shield class and here you can see the route name of our detail details it has a details and then after it has the argument so jump into your main file 
and here the first is our details and then after we are going to pass the argument which we want in our detail screen so we simply want our actually remove this pair of parentheses because this will uh, not do anything use a dollar sign and then after we are going to pass our dummy value all right now this value is going to be passed from home screen to detail screen and now i am going to create a composable for our details screen and it has name parameter and within this i am simply creating a text which will show our name which we can pass from home screen so now jump into your nav host and within our nav host write a composable which is having a route navigation item dot details route and within this first we will extract the name by our backstack entry so it dot argument dot get string and the argument name would be name okay then after we simply render our detail screen just passing name all right now everything is done simply copy this navigation go to your main activity and here we are going to pass our navigation now i am going to run my application and see whether it is working or not all right so application will run successfully and when i type something and press click me it will jump to the detail screen and argument is successfully passed over here all right so that's it from this particular video and thank you for watching this video